We are John and Ellie, the Barefoot Doctors. Join us on this new chapter on our brand new Leopard 45 catamaran as we unearth the jewels of the med. And the world. Because life is better barefoot. <laughs> Again. Okay. We well, have vision ev every day. <laughs> every day. Deja vu in France. Miss Ellie, take it with the spoon. Tell us what <laughs> tell us what you're doing. Okay, so we've got our start of our herb garden that we're planting. And this poor soil probably needs a lot more nourishment because we had herbs in it about three years ago. And so we'll just see how they go. Alright. But we got basil, cilantro and mint at the moment. And for all you gardeners out there, close your eyes, because I'm sure that you think this is horrendous. <laughs> close your eyes. But when you're a sailor, you learn to be flexible and compromise tools for other things. And so let's get some, oh, okay guys, you're gonna go into your very new home. We love you and love you. So, for all those people out there that are gardeners, I am not a gardener, but I do love plants. Uh, we're at a marina so we would always want to leave the boat with full tanks of water so we always fill the tanks up to absolutely the brim before we leave mm -hmm. when we've got relatively free water there are so many cameras computers glasses things that are broken on boats because people think ah oh, you know i'm just working on my computer and then you get up and you like Oops. go sailing and do other things and your computer sits on the desk and then as you get into a swell and even on a flat calm day you can be driving on a flat calm day a big ship big motorboat passes you and suddenly you're and all these things will fall off So what's happening honey? Tell them so what's happening. So we are putting up the French flag because we are about to sail away over to Saint-Tropez. And this is a very nostalgic moment for us. We've waited a long time. So the captain now raises the flag. And why do we need a French flag? And we need a French flag because we're in French waters. And, and the, the boat is flagged with a foreign country so you have to put a courtesy flag on your starboard side of your boat and your the flag of your country at the back of the boat the stern of the boat so that's what this is this is the courtesy flag doesn't matter what size it is it actually doesn't matter how high it is it is nice to have a separate line going up to the shard so you can hang it really high but this is just fine how does that look beautiful yay <laughs> Today is the day of our long-awaited maiden voyage and our destination is Saint-Tropez. It's time for Captain John and First Mate Ellie to start our training. 
as we prepare to learn the ropes. We feel beyond excited as we plan to swing off the pick for the first time on our Leopard 45. May the adventures aboard Expedition Barefoot begin. Okay, so David, this this green line yeah. pulls the loop over. Come and see this. So this is the carver hook. And if you climb up, you'll see this is attached to a, a loop of brown line. And the brown line has to come over this as we hoist the sail. Has to come over what? Over this? That loop, okay? Okay. So as we pull the sail up. So you want it like yeah, to come through here? Yeah, yeah. But it will. So if you just, sometimes you have to put, give it a bit of a jerk on this line. So you just climb down here again. Oh, so the line, so it's just so that it, but it, it's not fed over the hook. No, it's not. It's, it's okay. going to pull the loop. It's going to pull the loop. Okay. Often it will automatically flick into that carver hook. Okay. But if it doesn't, you just have to jerk it. So that it goes in. So it goes gotcha. in. Gotcha. Okay. As the sail goes up, we have to, the back end of the sail has battens which catch on the, la on the lazy jacks. These are the lazy jacks yeah, that catch okay. the sail. So what we have to do is we have to keep pulling the main up while it's sitting in the middle and doesn't go one side or the other and catch on those lazy If it catches on the lazy jacks, just yell at me. Okay, hoist the main. Sails are up, one sail's up. Now we've got to do put away the fenders and the ropes. As the wise always say, there is a place for everything and everything in its place. And we love that there is plenty of storage space in the leopard for essentials and more. Genoa. The Genoa has is on a furler. Yeah. So there's a cleat that says furler. Yeah. So that rope allows the furler to undo, and when you pull it, it goes back in. Yeah. You have Genoa two and Genoa one. You see, that's the green yeah. rope and that's the red rope. The red rope's on the port side of the boat, and the green rope's on the starboard side of the boat. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Same as on the Code Zero. So to pull the Genoa out. We have to release the furler. Okay. Now, um, and then we have to pull on the green rope. Okay. Okay, because the green rope will help pull it out, and as soon as we unlock the furler rope, it'll just run. So I've just, that rope is nicely placed in there, so it'll run nice and easily. So if we were cutting the wind the other way, we'd use the red Other rope. side, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Any of these ropes that we have um, lots of tension on, we do four circles, four twists around the winch and then through the feeder and then into the lock. Okay. So this is a one-way winch, it only goes one way and it just comes out. This, as soon as the cat starts catching the wind, it's gonna fly like crazy. But I think that's gonna be... So when it's flying, never hold the rope, like yeah. just let it go, otherwise it'll... And, and, and also when this is loose, you see this green rope here, if the green rope is loose, especially when we're pulling it in, it can flog like crazy and anybody standing in the front area be can be whipped and it's really, really sore yeah, and quite dangerous actually. Yeah. So any time we're putting ourselves in and out, we generally clear that part of the deck, so that front quarter, um, because this is the side of the deck. So we are here, we're going there.
I was expecting John to do the sound effects now. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Tea time on the shaded front cockpit. There you go. Caught on camera, Ellie. <laughs> Having a snacky snack and a tea? Yeah, look how beautiful, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but here, however, <laughs> Central K. Here we go. First mate Ellie drives us into the wind as Captain John and David prepare to drop the main. There are three main anchorages to choose from in Saint-Tropez, but the thick seagrass makes it difficult. So it is important to find a patch of sand to get the anchor to bite and make sure that you are safe. So now it's time to drop the pick and have a celebratory toast. Right, cheers guys! Looking for a Best trip and it was great, wasn't it? Wonderful, very... Peaceful. Wasn't much wind, but you managed to get up to about four to six knots. I think just over six knots we did. So we did really well. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Celebration kiss. Yeah. Oh, kiss. Mm. Oh, <laughs> all right. Now the moment's complete. <laughs> we get to enjoy our peaceful anchorage before a good night's rest. and we've been blessed by a beautiful harvest moon. Good morning everyone from the misty Saint-Tropez and hot croissants for breakfast. And then into the dinghy to explore the village. Don't mark up the beginning section. <laughs> then we got our act together. And then we lifted. And we lifted it the other half of the way up the beach. We hopped it. <laughs> and that's the advantage of having a non-center console <laughs> dinghy. You can pick your dinghy up and take it out because we were everywhere else is rocks or private jetty. Saint-Tropez, here we come! Whee! But you can't go to Saint-Tropez without visiting the Citadel. So welcome and come join the tour. Where are we guys? We are in the Citadel of Saint-Tropez, which was built first in 1589 from memory and it's been part of wars ever since. Every century there have been people from Spain, Italy, Austria, Great Britain attacking the place and the local trapezians, the center of pay people are called trapezians apparently. I love that. Trapezians. So the trapezians 
have been kind of trying to protect themselves and then joining one side and then being taken over by the other side and anyway and so progressively over the years they've built bigger and bigger fortresses here and every century since then there have been wars here oh yeah. but not today <laughs> not today not on my watch that's right <laughs> The village hugs the coastline and we get a bird's eye view from up here of the typical Mediterranean architecture with the beautiful blend of terracottas, peachy corals and pastel yellows. But the best view is Expedition Barefoot. And the main event in the amphitheatre today is... And although you may not get that performance, you could wander through the historical museums to explore the rich Saint-Tropez history. From the nautical replicas to the original artefacts, there is plenty to see here. It's time for a dad's joke. So what do you call the mist? What's the mist's name? Drum roll. Brrr, Kermit the Fog. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild again. <laughs> After the museum, you could head over to the town to explore the beautiful streets, shops and restaurants and soak up the lively coastal vibes. You do realise what? that this is a uh, Gardelou Street. So in the old days, they used to just throw their poo into the middle of the road and it used to go down the yeah. central drain into. Oh. Yeah. And they used to say, Gardelou! I don't know what it means, but I think it's be careful of your head or be careful of the loo. I don't know. There are plenty of cool spots to experience the local cuisine, and today it's pizza. And at this time of the year, there are so many festivals and celebrations you can look forward to. Being sailors, we are always checking out the marinas.
And another surprise is the cool air show over the coastline. And if you want to end your day on a sweet note, Oh man, there's nothing better than scrum de ice cream. And when it comes to Saint Tropez, the dichotomy of a laid back Mediterranean living and the spring holiday commotion makes it for an experience to remember. Can someone say aye aye? Aye aye, aye, aye captain. captain. <laughs> Give us your best, your best captain. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes closed, and here he goes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah! We attach the dead end of the ropes uh, with a bowline through the middle. Oh, of, yeah. of, so it can't come off. So it can't come off, and that way you don't have to worry about the other end. So to tie a bowline, you have your finger on this line, you create a loop, you hold it there, you twist it around the back, and you put it through there, and it's simple, isn't it? <laughs> oh yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not. Where people do get confused is around the back, straight down it, right? Yeah, that's it. And then just pull it tight. Put my fender down. Over. And I pinch it. Over again. So through. I. Is this right, or did I do it wrong this time? No, that's right.
water line, what coils in the, um, the generator. Um, and we're letting out the generator sheet, which I'll fill the back end. Just have a little bit of tension so the sail rolls tight and flat, or reasonably firmly flat. And now that the generator is in, the uh, Code Zero will fill quite nicely. Five point one knots in seven point four knots of breeze. hood out of the way so I can move my hat and the wind doesn't catch it. And then when I put my side glasses up it doesn't get caught in my hair. So I get to be bald for a day. It's pretty good. Oh god. <laughs> He's like oh, yeah. a mating call John. You can't answer that. You can't say hello. Hey you cry. So, Name off all account, all, in, all, what do you say? All. All hands. Present and accounted for. One. Two. Three. And a half. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> there are three main anchors to choose from. I love it. I'm gonna spin. If you have liked this episode, hit the like button, subscribe for free, and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and health from the Barefoot Doctors.